Hey, hey, and welcome to my next tutorial video. In this tutorial video, I want to quickly cover how do you make sure your AutoCAD is up to date? And how do you find the updates? You know, they are quite kind of tricky on how to find them and they sometimes don't automatically update for you and sometimes don't tell you that the program needs to be updated until you run into an issue. So I thought I'd make a quick little tutorial video on how you can access your updates and how you can update your AutoCAD. Okay, so you can go to your home screen. Um, actually, it doesn't really matter because um, what I'm going to get you to actually open is this. You're going to go to your start menu. This is for Mac or PCs, and you're going to go to your Autodesk folder. So if you're a uh, PC, then you're going to go to start menu. If you're Mac, go to your finder menu, and regardless, find the AutoCAD desktop app. And that's what I want you to open. I wonder if this does the same thing. Let's see, AutoCAD web app. It opened up obviously a browser on my other and then I sign in. I wonder if this does the same thing. Let's, let's, let's see. Okay, that didn't do anything. Let's try again. <laughs> Okay, so obviously that's not going to work. Okay, what about the mobile app? That's going to want me to download it on my phone, obviously. Okay, never mind. Then, then you know what? See, that's what I mean. And that's why students always ask this question, because like it just doesn't connect you right. And I've already clicked on these buttons as well up here before the video, and it didn't work either. So what I suggest is you have this. And if you ha don't have the Autodesk Desktop app, okay, again, the AutoCAD Desktop app. I'm going to go to it again, okay? Desktop app. Um, not the web app, not the app. The mobile app, the desktop app. If you don't have that, you can go to autodesk.com and download this for free. This is definitely for free. It should have downloaded it with AutoCAD. It should have, but just in case if it didn't, that's how you would. So there you go. Please go to that. That's super important. Um, then it'll open up this. Okay, and first we'll open it up to your products and tools. This will, this is what it'll open up to first, and you're gonna like, okay, cool, but I don't want more programs. So go to this arrow. The arrow pointing downwards is usually always like a universal download button. Um, so go ahead and click on my updates, and then you can scroll through here and see. And so you can see here that I've got an update. It came out a month ago, and I had no idea. No idea, and that could definitely be the case for you. So this could fix bug issues, crash issues, defect issues, block issues. It could be anything. Um, you can, if you want to know, you can read more and actually figure out what the update is about. Um, because some of them I choose not to actually update, which is why I have mindset not to automatically update. You can see how many Revit updates I have, and you know I've chosen not to update them because it slows my program down, and then I don't want them. So that could also be the case for you too. Do not have your, if you if you notice that the computer is really slow when you're running AutoCAD, it could be because you have all of these crazy updates and you don't really need them. So set it up in your preference settings not to have automatic updates, so then that way you don't have to, um, sorry, that way your, your AutoCAD maybe will run a little bit quicker. So I've noticed that that helped me out a lot with Revit because my Revit was running slower, um, so I don't download, I don't have these automatic and I get to pick what I want to download. So this is probably one I should download for AutoCAD, so I will definitely click update. And what happens is that it will sit here and download, it'll wait, um, it'll actually tell you and ask you to close your AutoCAD, close the AutoCAD desktop app, and then it will actually update this separately. Okay, so that is how you search for your updates for AutoCAD. That is how you access the updates for the AutoCAD, and that's how you can use them. I hope you found this useful. I uh, hope you're able to find this properly. Again, you can find this uh, in PC or Mac. PC, it's um, just at your start menu, and go to your Autodesk folder. For Mac, same thing, just go to your Finder menu and go to your Autodesk folder and find the Autodesk desktop app, and again, if you do not have this, go ahead to the Autodesk website and download it. It will be for free. Or you can probably access it through here. If you try the web app and you log in, maybe you'll get more better luck with it than I did. Um, and uh, yeah, you can try it that way. Um, there's one more thing. If you open up a file, or I guess I could have clicked on this, you can, if you don't have the desktop app, you can also uh, click on the little uh, shopping cart in the top corner. And it'll bring you to a new um, 
web browser, like a search. Um, I don't know why it's lagging so badly right now. <laughs> Hey, there we go. There we go. Click on the shopping cart in the top right corner, and it'll bring you to this web, their website. Basically, it's their um, account, like their program's website, their plugins. Um, and you can find the desktop app here. So if you, let's see if we can find it. Zero. Oh my gosh, it's its own thing and I can't find it. Autodesk desktop app. Is that not what it's called? And I'm on the Autodesk app store. Isn't that funny? Autodesk desktop app and you cannot find it. That is so funny. Wow, we're even on the Autodesk App Store and you still can't even find their desktop app program. Again, this is why I show this in my recording so that way you don't have to do this legwork and you don't try and go that road because it's just not going to work. I wonder if I go into here. This is It's very specific plugins here. Like they're very specific, right? But I figured it would still have its own desktop app in here but apparently not. So yeah, the, obviously the shopping cart is not the solution. N uh, okay, interesting. Um, obviously the shopping cart is not the solution, um, but uh, yeah, so this is the best basic way to go um, is the Autodesk desktop app. All right, I hope you found something in here useful. <laughs> hope you're able to find the apps. If you can't, or sorry, the updates. If that doesn't work, then uninstall the program and reinstall the program. And once you reinstall the program, you can reinstall with the software update at the same time. Okay. All right. I got to figure out my internet connection issues and why my download failed. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for listening, everyone. You take care. Cheers.